Hello and welcome to the It's Learning online training course for new teachers. Welcome to Forsyth County Schools. My name is Ruth Allen and I'm the Instructional Technology Specialist for Secondary Schools. In this video, I want to give you some basic navigation information about It's Learning. Obviously you've logged in, but I want to start with the login screen. So when you go to It's Learning, you will first see the login screen. Notice on my screen here, it's divided into two halves. The part here on the left is actually where parents will log in. The side on the right is where students and teachers log in. Now, if you have not got your com regular computer log in, we had you log in over here on the left. Once you get your regu regular computer log in, when you report to your school, you will be logging in on the right side of the screen. I'm going to log in real quickly here. Now notice when you first log into It's Learning, what comes up is what they consider the home screen. And there's a few pieces of information I want to point out on this home screen. If you look over here on the left side of the screen, this is what we call the tree. You will have a tree in each of your courses as well. And right now when this comes up, notice what's in blue tells you what you're looking at. So on the right, we're looking at what's called the dashboard for Forsyth County Schools. This is basically just information from our Twitter feed and our school website. One thing I do want to point out though, right here, this top box on the right, this is a parent training box. This is important for you as a new teacher. If you get some parents of your students that ask, I don't know how to use this learning, can you help me? Help them log into It's Learning, either as their child or themselves, and this block will come up to begin with. Notice they can click here. It's going to take them to resources. They're both handouts and videos to help them learn about It's Learning. So just remember how to navigate to this home screen, and then you can help parents who need help with It's Learning as well. Okay, let's look over here at these dashboards. Everyone should have Forsyth County Schools is the initial one that comes up. If you have any students, uh, your own children, that are actually um, attending one of our elementary schools, middle or highs, you will see the dashboard for that particular school. So here we see Matt Elementary's dashboard. And then whichever school you teach at, you will see that dashboard. I'm an account, in an account for a teacher at West High, so she sees West High's dashboard. Let's continue looking up here on what I call the menu bar. Right now we're on home. I'm going to click next on the courses tab. Notice when you click on courses, you will see a list of the courses that you are currently enrolled in. Since I am in a teacher's account right now, I see all of the courses that she currently teaches and then some additional courses that she's enrolled in. If you click on the all courses link there at the bottom, that's going to open a list of every single course that you're either a teacher of or a student in. Now currently when you click on that list, all you are seeing is the It's Learning Online Training course and a course called your Sandbox course. It'll have your school initials, your, na your username, and then the word Sandbox. We'll talk about that a little bit more in detail later. But right now I just want, to sh want you to look at that list of courses. I want you to notice the column of stars. The stars stand for your favorite courses. So anything that you click on um, that is a gold star is a favorite course. Anything that's a gray star is an unfavorited course. And notice when you clicked on that courses tab, only your favorite courses show up in that list. Anything that is not a favorite course, you have to click on the all courses link to see the list of all courses and then access any of those courses. To get into a course, all you have to do is click on the name and it'll take you straight to that course. The next tab I want to look at is the Your Students tab. Now right now, because you're in the middle of the summer, you don't have any courses set up for you yet. We do not start new courses until right before the school year starts. So your new courses, your actual courses that you're going to be teaching in the fall, will not show up until the end of July. 
once your new courses appear in its learning, on this Your Students tab, what you're going to see is a list of every single kid that's enrolled in any of your courses. And then notice with those students, you'll see when was the last time that they logged into its learning. Now, if you want to know when they logged into your own personal course, you'll be able to click on the course name. It'll load just the students for that particular course. And then notice it'll say when they, uh, when they last went into your its learning course. And then it'll also give you a summary of how many assignments or tests that you've given them in your course and how many they've actually completed up to this point. So this is just a nice quick way to see what your students are or are not doing in your course. The next tab I want to look at is the More tab. Now you notice there's several different things there. A lot of those don't mean anything to you at this point, but I just want to point out we are a Google Drive school. You will have a Google account set up for you when you uh, start school in the fall. Um, this link here will take you directly to that Google Drive account. It'll log you right in. Um, so that'll be all set up for you. Probably at this point in time it's not set up yet, but it will be there when school starts for you. Notice there's also a course request link here on this More tab. For course requests, what that is is we can create a course for you within its learning that you can use with, um, let's say, a club or a team or just a group of students that you want to somehow get materials to and communicate to. A lot of schools already have these set up for their sports teams and clubs, but if you need one for some reason, all you have to do is go here to this More tab, click Course Request, and then uh, fill out the form and we'll create that course for you. So continuing on, other things I want to point out. Notice this little bell. This bell is what's called the notification. And if for some reason you get an assignment or a task assigned to you, you'll get a little notification that says, hey, you've got this work to do. This is really more helpful for students than it is for teachers, but it's also a great way for you to keep um, students surprised of what's going on. Once you grade an assignment or give them feedback, a notification also pops up there. Right now, there's nothing there because this teacher doesn't have any assignments. Next is the little um, envelope icon. This is the inbox. This is the built-in messaging system in its learning. We have a whole other lesson on that. We'll get in more detail. But just know this is an enclosed system, so no junk mail is coming in there. And it's a fast way for you to communicate with your students. Over here to the right, you will see your username and then a few pieces of information and another lesson will talk about your profile and your settings but notice this is where you can sign out at any point in time. Okay the next thing I want to do is go back to that courses tab and I want to go to our training course so go ahead from that list of courses choose the FCS It's Learning Online Training Course When you choose a course, the first thing that comes up is the dashboard for that course. And on that dashboard, you will see key information. So this is a page that you've already gone to. You've hopefully read through all the directions and you're proceeding through this first lesson. I just want to talk about the layout of this dashboard a little bit. Once again, that left column that you see, that's what's called the tree. So anytime that um, a direction tells you to go to the tree, we're talking about this left hand column. Notice in blue, it tells me that I am looking at the course dashboard to begin with. I want to just talk about this tree and just kind of overview a little bit about it. I'm going to click on the next thing there, follow up and reports. These are just some general reports. Um, as a teacher, you will have more reports than a student does. Um, but on this reports, if you have your grade book turned on, and this is a different grade book than your Infinite Campus grade book, um, but you can pull grades from there and quickly get the grades into Infinite Campus through this um, report. But there's also a personal report that'll tell the students what they have or have not completed within the course. Participants, this is the list of all the students that are enrolled in your course. Um, so when you get your real courses in July, this is where you'll see the roster of all your students. Properties. Um, Right now I'm in as a student, so there's nothing here. This is where you will actually put your standards in your course, and we have a whole nother lesson on that, so I'm gonna move on. The planner, 
we'll talk about this in great de detail in another lesson. But this is where um, you will see exactly what the lessons are for a course. So as a student, I can go here and I will actually see all the lessons for the entire year. Um, or I can go up here under the show and I can say, hey, just show me today's lesson or show me next week's lesson. So students can kind of manipulate what they see here. But this is just where they can quickly see everything that is happening in the course. Um, and then down here, I have, the I have a folder with the name of the course that just tells me all of the content that is contained within this particular course. And we'll be talking a lot about how to build this content. I'm going to go back to the course dashboard really quickly and just kind of give you an overview. Here's just a general block of information. Here is that same planner. So I had showed you the planner in the tree, but there's a planner block on the course dashboard th that most students use to access their lessons and they can just go straight through, read the description, go into any resources and activities for those lessons. So one last thing I want to give you um, is just some information about your sandbox course. So if you go back to your courses tab and then scroll through your list and find your sandbox course, your sandbox course is what we are calling a play place for you. You are the only person enrolled in your sandbox course. So this is a safe place for you to try things, um, make mistakes and learn without anybody seeing any of those mistakes. And throughout this online training course, we will have you create and build items in this course. You are a teacher in your sandbox so you have the ability to do anything that you need to do within there so just wanted to point that out how to get there um, and you'll find out more information as we move forward hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable about navigating around its learning we'll see you in the next lesson